Welcome to Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Final between the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers. The stakes are the highest they've been all season because if the Panthers come out on top, they win the Stanley Cup. And for the Oilers, they're just trying to force a Game 5 back in Florida. This should be quite the game. It started with Darnell Nurse and Warren Fogle teaming up to annihilate Sam Bennett. Imagine getting kneed and elbowed at the same time. Bennett went down the tunnel, Nurse got called for the trip, and Florida was given their first power play of the game. However, not only did the Panthers fail to score on the ensuing man advantage, they actually surrendered a goal while the Oilers were down a man. And it was a nice goal too. Look at the patience displayed by Connor Brown here to wait out Sergei Bobrovsky until he was completely out of position and then to have the offensive awareness to pass it in front to Matthias Janmark who had a wide open net to shoot at. For a team on the brink of elimination, this was an impressively confident goal to score in the first five minutes of the game. one nothing Oilers. And then, just a minute later, Florida took a too many men penalty, giving Edmonton a chance to double their lead, but thanks to this block by Lusterainen, this block by Mikola, and this save by Sergei Bobrovsky, the Panthers killed it off. And then check this out, Yanmark gains control of the puck, overpowers Mikola, and delivers a beautiful pass to Adam Henrique, who angled his stick perfectly to deflect the puck past Bobrovsky, putting his team up 2-0. We're not even halfway through the first period and it's evident that something is very different about this game compared to the first three. The Oilers are outworking the Panthers. Vladimir Tarasenko scored, but who cares because look at this save by Stuart the Skinwalker Skinner. He absolutely stoned Carter Verhage cold. Oh, and then this happened. What a goal by Dylan Holloway. Look at the little backhanded toe drag he did here. Damn. 3-1 Oilers. The Panthers were clearly rattled. I mean, just look at this. How often do you see Ekblad and Bennett screw up a simple breakout pass like this? Edmonton was in their head rent free. Oliver Ekman Larson hit Connor McDavid. By the way, that's the first time I've mentioned McDavid's name in this video and his team already has three goals. It looks like his supporting cast is finally waking up. Except for Cody Ceci, who I'll give the benefit of the doubt to and assume is playing injured, but I mean, if he isn't, what on earth is this? He had all the time in the world and still gave the puck away. Luckily for him, his teammates were there to bail him out though, so whatever. Ekman Larson bashed Holloway. Okposo smashed Broberg. Ekblad thrashed Fogel. McDavid cashed in on Bobrovsky. 4-1 Oilers. Kulikov hit Cece. Bobrovsky made his first decent save of the game. But then Darnell Nurse sniped home his first of the playoffs and man, did he need that. He's been putting up with so much hate from his own fan base. That goal must have felt like a big fuck you pay me and you just know it amped up his teammates as well. It's now 5-1 for Edmonton and we're not even halfway through the game yet. And that's when Florida coach Paul Maurice decided to pull Sergei Bobrovsky from the net and replace him with their backup goalie, Anthony Stolarz. What is happening? Also, if you're new here, please hit subscribe. You won't regret it, I promise. Ekman Larson couldn't control his emotions and slashed Connor Brown, which obviously led to a penalty, but thanks to McDavid hitting the post, Drysaddle missing the net, and this save by Stolarz, the Panthers killed it off. Stolarz made another fantastic save, then Bennett punched Zach Hyman in the back of the head, Matthew Kachuk jumped on Hyman, then McDavid jumped in because I guess he wanted to be attacked too, so Kachuk started slapping the back of his head, Fogel and Ekman Larson came out of nowhere, spinning each other around like they were in love, frolicking through a field of flowers, then Bennett punched McDavid in the face, which Connor found absolutely hilarious. Meanwhile, Hyman's still laying on the ice praying for everybody to just get along. And all of that led to a five on three power play for the Oilers, and of course they scored. It was Ryan Nugent Hopkins potting his seventh of the postseason to make it 6-1 for Edmonton. Bennett ran Hyman, but got the worst of it. Okposo absolutely rocked Drysidle. Barkov bonked Drysidle. Henrique crushed Kulikov. Drysidle exposed Okposo. Brown bumped Ekman Larson, then punched him in the head. Ekman Larson tried to take a run at Brown in response, but missed. Then Nurse thumped Lawrence to the ice and got called for cross-checking, but the best scoring chance on the ensuing power play wasn't even for the Panthers. It was this shot on goal from Connor Brown. And then Ekblad got called for slashing, but thanks to this huge save by Stolarz, Florida was able to kill it off. Then Stuart Skinner made the best save of the game, absolutely robbing Matthew Kachuk from cutting the Oilers' lead to just Seriously though, what a save. And on that play, Corey Perry was called for slashing, but still on the ensuing power play for the Panthers, Skinner was stopping everything. And then look at the hard work from Connor Brown here. Where was this in the first three games? Anyway, it's 6-1 for the Oil. I mean, it's 7-1 for the Oil. 
<sighs> yeah, so not only did Edmonton dodge elimination and force a game five, but they also won game four eight to one and likely cast a ton of doubt into the heads of the Panthers. But look, if this game ends up being their last win of the season, I just have to say, wow. That means they opened the season with an 8-1 loss to the Canucks and closed it out with an 8-1 win over the Panthers. But guys, I gotta tell you something. I want this to go seven games. I don't care who wins still, but I want this to be as entertaining as possible. And the only way for that to happen is if the Oilers win games five and six. So inadvertently, I suppose I'm cheering for the Oilers now, but please do not think that means anything other than I just want a good series. Got it? Okay. Thanks to these wonderful knuckheads who support the channel by clicking the join button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. It is eight to one here in the third period. Dying seconds here as the Canucks faithful get set to celebrate first victory of the season.